What is going on? This is Brangie, and today I'm showing you the cheapest U3 or V30 micro SD card that we can find here in the Philippines. But is it too good to be true? Let's find out. <music> What we have here is a Trans and 128GB micro SD card for only 459 pesos in Shopee and 434 pesos in Lazada. For those who doesn't know, Transcend has been a long time brand making flash drives and computer memory or RAM. This micro SD card is part of their 300S lineup and their speed vary according to their storage capacity. Again, we got the 128GB, so we have up to 100 megabytes per second read and 40 megabytes per second write according to their page. I will be using this USB 3.0 card reader with Crystal Deskmark, H2TestW, and actual file transfers on my PC. For real life testing, I'll be using this card on the Insta360X3 at its highest settings that can generate files at about 1 GB per minute. Let's jump on to the results. On Crystal Deskmark, we got 97 megabytes per second and 40 megabytes per second sequential read and write speeds, respectively. We won't worry much about the random read and write speed since we'll be using this for action cams, which makes a handful of large files instead of numerous tiny ones. On H2 Test W, we got a similar read and write speeds and confirm that this card's capacity is real. For actual file transfers, we got speed steady about 90 megabytes per second when copying from the card. But when copying files to the card, things got a bit shaky. It's moving up to 54 megabytes per second, then down to 16 megabytes per second, and generating a wave graph, which is very concerning. On the Insta360X3, I took a video at 5.7K, 30fps, and it was able to record up to 12 minutes until it stopped recording due to low SD card speed. Oof. I tried it again with a cooler attached to it thinking it might help, but it didn't even get past 12 minutes this time, and it stopped again due to low SD card speed. The wave like transfer speed did affect its real life performance. I tried using my spare SanDisk Ultra micro SD card which has a C10 rating and that was able to record up to 27 minutes. The only reason it stopped is due to the camera overheating and that's not the card's fault. SanDisk Ultra has a lower transfer speed when copying to the card but it's very steady. <sighs> so I wouldn't recommend this one. They could say it's an average of 40 Mbps write speed, but it is not enough for my camera. I would advise to stay away from this and just go for another brand. Oh shit, I don't mind. <laughs> I would advise to stay away from this and just go for another brand. Buy a SanDisk X3 perhaps because I already tried it and use it as my main card for my Insta360 Street. I hope this video is informative to you when making a purchase. Leave a like comment share and subscribe down below again bbg out